Hello everybody, this is Paul Paquin. I'm the CEO here at Golden Financial Services and today I'm literally just coming out here. Every single Friday we have a meeting and the meeting is between basically our supervisor, our manager, and then we have our Florida, New York, and California department all on a webinar. And uh, basically we, we try to find out the biggest problem that consumers are having every every week. We try to figure out the biggest issue and our job is of course to ease their their pain and you know make, make make their debt affordable and easy to pay so let me just get to it here the biggest the biggest issue that consumers have is that they don't want to fall behind on their monthly payments they'd rather just keep paying minimum payments you know for for 8 10 even 12 years uh, sometimes even longer so I just wanted to go over the, this subject of should I keep paying minimum payments even though my accounts are pretty much all maxed out or is it better to fall behind and then you can end up using a program like debt settlement. Well it's never advisable to fall behind on your monthly payments okay but on the same subject by just paying minimum payments every month that A Okay, A, your credit utilization ratio is being negatively affected. Your credit utilization ratio makes up about 30 to 35 percent of your credit score. Okay, basically that's, you have your credit limit and how much of your credit limit is taken up with debt. Okay, high debt is going to hurt your credit score. Okay, so if all of your credit card balances all of your credit card limits are pretty much almost maxed out, or if they are maxed out, your credit worthiness is definitely taking a big hit. Now, your credit score may not have taken a huge hit. It probably will go down as your debt, or well, as all of your credit cards are getting maxed out, your credit score will go down, but it's not going to go down from like 750 all the way down to 550 just because your, um, your cards are all maxed out. Okay, but the big thing here is that if you went and you applied for any type of credit with all of that debt, let's say you had $50,000 of debt and you went and applied for some type of credit, you may get approved, but you're going to get approved with a 28 or 29 or a 30% interest rate because your credit utilization ratio is severely damaged if you have maxed out credit card debt or even close close to maxed out by paying only the monthly minimum payments on fifty thousand dollars worth of credit card debt that's going to be roughly twelve hundred dollars per month let's suppose that the interest rate on your credit cards the average interest rate let's say it's twenty eight percent fifty thousand total debt interest rate is twenty eight percent minimum payment is $1,200 per month is about what it's going to be. At $1,200 per month, you're going to be paying on that $50,000 for the next 13 years. $1,200 per month for 13 years, and you're going to end up paying $186,440. You are paying your debt back three times. And then on top of that, you're paying an additional, uh, let's see, thir roughly thirty-six thousand plus, just over thirty-six thousand. So you're paying one hundred and eighty-six thousand four hundred and forty dollars just to pay back the fifty thousand. And why? Because you want to preserve that seven twenty or seven thirty credit score or whatever it is. You don't want to stop paying because then your credit score is going to fall under 700. But here's the thing. Let's just say you were to stop paying your credit card minimum payments because you can't keep, you realize that you're, you're going to be retiring in a couple years and you won't even be able to afford minimum payments. Sorry about that distraction. Um, you won't even be able to afford to pay minimum payments in a few years because you're going to be losing your income here. It's going to be shrinking once uh, it's time for retirement. So you need to do something, right? What are your options? You can do debt settlement, debt validation, 
You could do consumer credit counseling and that'll get you out of debt in about four and a half years. Um, or of course you can use, like I said, debt settlement, which would get you out of debt in about three years and your monthly payment would be almost half of what you're paying when paying minimum payments. So with debt settlement, your payment's going to be, let's see here, not quite half. It's going to be $850 per month, and you're going to be debt-free in about 36 months with debt settlement. Now, there's a better option than debt settlement if you qualify. It's called debt validation. Debt validation, the easiest way to explain the concept, let's... If you get a speeding ticket, now you you know you were speeding, right? You were you were going 85 down a 60 mile per hour road. So yeah, you were speeding, but all of a sudden this speeding ticket attorney, he, he goes in front of the judge, he asks the judge a few few questions, and all of a sudden your speeding ticket is dismissed. Basically, what the attorney is doing is just using the federal law and questioning the judge, you know, asking the judge for certain documentation and information. Now, the police officer, by law, will have to produce the documentation and the information, and if anything is missing, or if anything is inaccurate, if, the, if they put the wrong date on the speeding ticket, the ticket will get dismissed. Now, a good speeding ticket attorney he will go deep into the law book and he will line after line just start dis disputing and, and requesting different items. And eventually the police officer can't supply it or doesn't have the documentation. The ticket gets dismissed. With debt validation, it's a similar concept. The difference is there are 14 federal laws that you can use to dispute a debt. 14. And that's what is inside of the paperwork that's used in the debt validation program that we're offering at Golden Financial. Now, just to be very honest with you and upfront, in the last five years, I have not seen one case, not even one out of thousands, where a creditor was able to validate and prove the debt was valid. So what happens with debt validation, the debt doesn't get dismissed it becomes, what happens is it becomes illegally uncollectible. So illegally uncollectible debt is one that doesn't need to get paid. And legally, the debt collection company can no longer report the debt on the, the consumer's credit report because it's illegally uncollectible debt. It's invalidated. So now, all of a sudden, you had this, whatever it is, $50,000 credit card debt, Instead of settling the debt and then having late marks and collection marks stay on your credit report, with debt validation, the debt can be proven to be legally uncollectible and it can then be removed from your credit entirely. And included with the debt validation program is credit repair. So just in case the creditor doesn't remove the debt, the credit repair program will then dispute it if it's been proven to be legally uncollectible and is an invalid debt. If you have any questions, um, the figures that I went over today, you could actually go to goldenfs.org. So that's goldenfs.org. And just click on debt calculator and then you can see the debt calculator and you can try it out. There's consumer credit counseling, debt settlement, debt validation, and of course you can pay the debt on your own. You could use the debt snowball or the debt avalanche method and get out, get out of debt faster on your own. And you can even negotiate directly with your creditors to reduce the interest rate. Um, I had a client today, they had great credit, um, close to an 800 credit score, and what they ended up doing was actually going to Discover, right? And they ended up getting a balance transfer card. The balance transfer card provided a 0% interest rate for 18 months. And they're transferring all of their credit card debt onto the balance transfer card, but they're going to be able to get it paid off within the 18 months. 
So for 18 months, they get a 0% interest rate, and the only thing they had to pay, the only thing they end up having to pay is the 3% fee. So there's an upfront fee on these cards. It's a 3% fee. But then if they can pay off the entire $50,000 of debt within the introduction period of 18 months, they just eliminated all of their interest. And they had about a 20% interest rate um, on average. So that's a great option if you have sufficient income and a high credit score. You have to have a high credit score to qualify for that. But there's always that upfront fee as well. Beware of that. Um, so have a great day. And we look forward to talking to you again in our next video that we're going to be publishing soon. Again, visit us at goldenfs.org.